Virgos, this is your reading for April 2022. This is Diane with Real 3 High Priestess, you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to watch your reading for April. We're going to take a look here, Virgo, at what will happen to you in April, okay? We're going to find out what astrology dice have to say. We're also going to take a look at the tarot deck and use some oracle cards as well as my intuition as well uh, to find out the messages spirit has for you guys this month okay i'm kind of excited to jump into your reading you got some sexy energy here okay on the table uh virgo okay you guys have pisces coming into your reading the energy of pisces which lets me know that your intuition your psychic abilities uh coming in here um this month is going to be very strong okay some of you guys have pisces in your chart you also have the eighth house that's showing up in mars energy so this could be kind of if I can get this to focus, this could be kind of a crazy energy for you here, uh, Virgo. Okay, it's not showing up, but that's okay. So it's Mars and uh, the eighth house in Pisces energy that's on the table. So it can be kind of a crazy energy here, uh, Mars in the eighth house here. So I definitely want you to be careful with this energy here and use this energy very wisely. I'm feeling two different vibrations, especially with Pisces in the mix coming in here. Um, I feel like Spirit is just letting you know here, Virgo, that... They're giving me this message, what's done in the dark will come to the light here, okay? So <laughs> with Mars having such big energy, okay, it can also be aggressive uh, as well, okay? And Pisces can be very sensitive. It, it kind of feels like it's trying to balance out, but it's not quite there. I feel like with the 8th house as well, it, it represents sex and death as well, okay? Sex and death. Uh, this 8th house and Mars here is letting me know that some sexual union uh, is going to happen between you and someone else here in the month of April okay but I definitely feel like if you're dealing with that sexual energy make sure you are ready for it make sure that this energy is happening with the right person and you want it to happen with this person okay I'm not telling you guys what to do but I definitely feels I, I feel like it could backfire on you or something explosive can happen and it it could be a little traumatic here it could be a little chaotic here as well okay i feel like you could also hear virgo i'm gonna give you what i'm thinking and stop beating around the bush i feel like some of you guys that are in relationships here you be you could be getting sexual advances from other people it may be very tempting it may be very strong to go into this union not calling you guys cheaters or anything like that i'm just saying be very careful with this energy here because with mars energy things that are not right okay things that are not right do not stay uncovered with mars energy so make sure that you are doing things to the best of your ability that are that the scales are balanced for some reason they're showing me the justice card here they're they're not wanting you to create karma for yourself here and they're not wanting you to do things that you feel like you have to do undercover because that shit is going to show up <laughs> okay so sorry for cursing here but i feel like it will definitely show up with this mars energy here you see the moon is sitting right here too under mars let me see if you guys can see this here you have mars and then you have the moon right there so i feel definitely whatever is hidden here will come to the light with this energy um some of you guys i have taurus and gemini here okay don't get caught up in this energy here make sure that you use it in a very wise way okay a wonderful way to harness this energy here virgo is to do positive things okay and use this energy very positively you can use it to study something that involves esoteric or something that is metaphysical or spiritual studies okay uh, research reading books okay diving deep into your spiritual gifts here okay this is one 
way that you can use this energy here in April that will benefit you here because there will be temptations I feel from other people not even going into your cards we're using my intuition here I feel like there will be temptations that come that comes up for you guys this month and you'll feel a very strong energy like <laughs> you want to go out and do these things but if you have to do it undercover know that it will backfire and eventually hurt someone it's a very sensitive situation here or someone that you're dealing with is very sensitive here it could uh, be kind of damaging here okay I know that with the eighth house and Mars energy there are great healers out here that have such placements as Mars in the eighth house here okay so definitely I feel like you should use this energy to the best of your abilities and make it work for you. Okay, explore your spiritual gifts here. Um, they're letting me know that around April, you guys are going to feel very intuitive. You're going to be tapping into your uh, psychic gifts. Okay, some of you guys are going to be tapping, tapping into other spiritual gifts that you have as well. Okay, uh, make sure you do your research. Some of you guys will be seeing repeating numbers and synchronicities uh, this April um, quite frequently here. So make sure you do research and figure out what those numbers mean to you and what your spirit guides the universe is trying to convey to you at that time here, okay? So you guys have growth. That's what they want you to focus on, using this energy in a very wise way, okay? I feel like you guys are growing spiritually um mentally here okay this month you have renewal that's coming in very beautiful energy you also have confusion this is coming up for so many people so many signs here okay you also have impatience that is coming in so you guys want i feel like you guys want something different you want to do some some of you guys are bored with the way things are right now you feel very restricted especially with the last few years and the things that we have had to go through here okay with the pandemic and such and those things okay so a lot of you guys may be feeling very bound okay or feel very stuck or fearful or confused or impatient that you wish things could go back to the way they were here okay we're definitely going through an energy shift on this planet here virgo and i know you guys can feel it here so make sure that you guys are investing in yourself to educate yourself to grow yourself spiritually here and uh, direct all of this beautiful energy because I do feel like it's beautiful energy that is moving in towards you here this month but they want you to put, put it in the right place here okay it, this is a perfect placement here with the eighth um eighth house being in Mars here okay so they're definitely want wanting you to use this I told you the temptation will be there <laughs> okay the temptation is there I have to go into this here okay so you guys are seeing this devil card coming in it's all about temptation here and I definitely feel like someone is going to move in towards you very very quickly here it could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius that we are seeing here Scorpio energy that I'm seeing here as well Gemini Taurus energy that I'm seeing on the astrology dice here okay but spirit is saying put your <laughs> I told you put your focus into if you can look at these cards the way that they are okay it's like fight that temptation here Virgo with the seven of wands fight that temptation and turn around and look at what you need to do here with the seven of pentacles continue to invest in yourself continue to focus on growth because that's what the seven of pentacles is all about it wants you to focus spirit wants you to focus on your own growth and you evolving and you having focus energy and focus will on your creative your your creative um endeavors here okay you're uh, increasing your skill set your spiritual knowledge here diving way deep into that especially with this energy on the table here okay so invest more time into those areas areas here this month okay you're going to be moving into I definitely feel a higher vibration here with this renewal card that is coming in towards you it almost feels like the judgment card as I'm picking it up they're saying a lot of you guys are 
possibly going through awakenings, spiritual awakenings, or a rebirth of your soul here. Some of you guys are also um, coming, noticing. I'm seeing like the chakras here, if you guys can see that. Some of you guys are noticing what your soul's path is is going to be your soul's purpose what it is on this planet here okay and i feel like this is uh your spirit guides in the universe this is a calling for you to dive deeper into yourself and dive deeper into spirituality and keep yourself out of trouble waters here because you don't need any other lessons here okay i know you want excitement here I'm not saying that you guys want to get into some trouble i'm not saying that but the temptation will definitely be here in the month of April here. Someone's going to look delicious. <laughs> I'm going to say it like that. Someone's going to look very tempting. Someone or something. And you're going to want to do something here. Something that you're not going to want anyone else to know about here. So if you're thinking about it and you know that it's something that you want to keep undercover here, that's probably something you don't want to involve yourself with because Mars will eventually show it. Mars will eventually uncover it here. Okay. Let's see what else is going on for you guys. We have the Emperor card coming in. The High Priestess. Look at this. The Justice card that I was... <laughs> Justice card and the moon card that is showing up for you guys here. I told you with this energy here, Virgo, okay? Something, someone, okay, uh, that's going to be very tempting here. You're going to want to hide it or something's going to be hidden here, okay? Or you're not going to want someone to know about something. Or this is someone that you are uh, possibly going to be confronted by here, okay? Um, that could create some shaky karma for you here okay someone that is coming in towards you very quickly here with the knight of swords and a justice card i almost feel like this is a test for you guys okay be very careful because this person here that promises to keep things to themselves doesn't they don't all they don't keep things to themselves okay <laughs> i definitely feel like they may uh talk about the things that um that they are supposed to keep secrets this is something else that i'm hearing okay be careful who you share your secrets with or share not sh be careful who you're sharing information with here this month okay because someone doesn't keep a secret very well okay that's something else that i'm seeing uh hearing here okay i'm also feeling here virgo with the high priestess and the emperor card here there's some divine partnership here that you have with someone it feels like a divine partnership here let's take a look at this i'm gonna go a little bit deeper with the emperor and the high priestess energy that's coming in here They're saying stay close to the one that you're with. Like if you're with someone in a committed relationship and you're tempted by someone else, stay close to the one that you're with here. Because someone else is more troubled than, than you think here. Okay. And this person may be hiding things. There's a lot of things you don't know about this person here. You may meet this person while you are at work or while you're with friends here. You have the networking card that's coming out the Milky Way here. You may meet this person on social media here or uh, in public. They may know a friend of a friend here. And that, it says connected. So they're connected to people that you know here. Okay, This person that is coming into your life here to tempt you. I feel like they come in as a friend here they move in very quickly to gain your trust here um virgo but definitely this is something that i feel spirit is saying guard your energy over here okay you also have pluto that is coming into your reading here okay so pluto is all about the underworld here um and they're saying that you need to focus on keeping a clean slate okay Pluto, when I see this energy here, this is about skeletons in the closet here, okay? So you don't want skeletons in the closet here because I definitely feel like those skeletons will come out in April here, okay? Someone's going to open their mouth or say, repeat something that you said 
to them or you're going to have some secret that you don't want known and someone's going to repeat it or uh, something is going to be found out that's why I said what's done in the dark will come to the light not saying that you guys are sneaky here okay but I'm just saying if you have any sneaky links don't do it okay or or stay clear of that energy okay Pluto is all about clearing and purging clearing and purging here and if you're in a committed relationship this could definitely uh, affect a current relationship or partnership here okay if you're not in a relationship here and you're solo here and you want to hook up with someone here I definitely feel like you need to watch out for that energy as well because it's something that you don't know about this person that is coming in towards you like give it time before you do something with this person before you give yourself over to this person or totally open yourself up to this new person if you have someone in mind um, because there's unknowns about this person something that you need to know about them that is um, that they're hiding let me just be clear someone's hiding something here okay so if you're meeting someone on social media on a dating app here or while you're networking or out with your friends in public be very careful about this person that is moving in towards you spirit definitely wants you to protect yourself here that's a strong energy that i am bringing in towards you guys now for some of you guys they're bringing this energy in as well because we have a retrograde that is happening with pluto and since pluto is on the table here okay i have to mention it uh coming in here so there is a retrograde happening here in pluto uh, this is going to be april 29th and it's going to go all the way until april 8th in capricorn here okay so um like i said to you here this could be a time for past people to come back i know you guys don't want to hear about past people i get it but i have to let you know this because it's coming in here okay there's something going to be revealed here about how this person is feeling about you this may be someone that wants to return back into your life to get back with you to express their love to you to let you know that you were some someone that they should not have uh, lost okay I feel like there's some serious confession that is coming in towards you that someone has transformed they have changed and they lost the best thing in their life here someone's coming up uh, some some past person is coming back with a very serious confession uh, towards you here okay and I do see a reunion here uh, for you guys okay um, for some of you guys I want this person back here okay but you got the Emperor card and you have the high priestess so they feel Feel like you guys are soulmates some of you guys uh, are supposed to be together you see this energy coming in here with this pluto card here i feel like you guys will definitely take your time to think about it with the seven of pentacles that's coming in here um and you should okay if that if you guys are definitely doing that but a past person is coming back with a confession or to tell you how much they miss you how much they still think about you here um and to come back into your life here okay oh my goodness let's grab a few more cards for you guys okay you have the stork okay news of a birth or new business opportunity here this could definitely involve your growth card that's coming in towards you there could be a new business opportunity that shows up for you here in the month of april uh something that you weren't expecting um you could be relocating here as well virgo you have new home new attitude with the broom here okay so i definitely feel here with this mars energy there's going to be a lot of uh, good excitement okay <laughs> that is happening there you're going to be very excited about some new opportunity or new purchase here some of you guys are purchasing a vehicle or a home or you're thinking about renting here or you're getting a new job or there's going to be a new job opportunity that moves in towards you here okay i'm switching off of the relationship because they want to focus on you and this is very fitting here since you have the seven of pentacles some of you guys have worked very hard when it comes to your career when it comes to your money when it comes to your financial stability here and uh, they're letting you know that you need to continue to push forward Forward, to move forward continue continue to educate yourself and perfect your skills and gain knowledge here 
um, in regards to your career, okay, or whatever job you are pursuing here. Continue to educate and invest in yourself. It doesn't have to be all spiritual with the Seven of Pentacles, even though I feel that energy here with Pisces um, on the astrology dice. This could be any career choice or career um avenue that you are in okay you also have the boot coming in increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals here this is all about the seven <laughs> seven of pentacles here increasing your um efforts here to reach your goals okay moving uh from the seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles eight of pentacles this is all about you guys working towards your goals here okay investing in yourself sticking through the hard times, working through the trials and the tribulations, good things will definitely happen with sunrise that is coming in here, okay? To clear up all of this confusion here, okay? Some of you guys are wondering if you should move on to a new position, to a new job, if you should put your resume in for a new position, should you take that promotion, should you move into a new place, should you move to a new state here? Um, yes, I feel like it, you will have this sense of renewal here that is showing up. It's all about the root chakra and this is you planting roots possibly in a new location or area of the state that you're currently in or in another state here okay i definitely feel like the brand new you you will feel the sense of renewal and um i'm getting too excited <laughs> let me calm down uh, this sense of renewal when you have new things and new adventures and new opportunities around you. Will it be a little scary? Possibly for some of you, <laughs> Virgo. But I feel like you will be very, um, you'll be willing to go after what you want, especially with this Mars energy. Mars energy is a go-getter, okay? So you're going to be very passionate about what you are trying to achieve in your life here in the month of April. You also have the sun sunrise card. It says new creative ideas, new ventures here, okay? A fresh new start. That's exactly what you guys need to focus on here, okay? On a lighter note, because I can't keep all this bad energy around i gotta tell you what good things are coming towards you this month as well okay let's get up so okay these are affirmation cards that i have here okay some of these affirmations are funny some of them are meant to make you laugh and they, it may have a small message in there for you. So let's go ahead because you already have the clouds around you with this confusion card coming in here. OK, and we also have the impatience card with this guy painting this blue sun. OK, he was so impatient that he painted one himself here. OK, and a spirit is wanting you to be patient. Something is divinely orchestrated to happen for you here. OK, so you have gentleness that is coming in towards you here as well. You have the card saying, I speak with gentleness and I listen with gentleness. I align with the gentlest part of myself and I take joy in being receptive open and unafraid here okay to go towards new things new business new attitude new home okay new creative ideas new ventures and a fresh start okay your card is saying i am like a baby deer who's best friends with a baby elephant the baby elephant wraps his little tr trunk around my shoulders and we lie down gently on the grass daydreaming and talking about what source of what sorts of humans the clouds look like here. That's kind of cute, okay? But they definitely want you to take away from this energy here, Virgo, is that you speak life into your dreams and what you desire here, okay? You speak gen gently about the things that you're trying to manifest here in your life. You also listen with gentleness here, okay? And you understand that you take joy in being receptive and open and unafraid to change okay that is your reading you guys thank you so much for coming back to watch your reading i do appreciate it if you got a message from this reading virgo make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit that notification bell so you know when i come back with another reading and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already i'll see you in your next reading bye